Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we've just had a look at the desktop browser market share percentages by StatCounter for July. So if you are interested, just have a quick review of the desktop Windows version market share and compare those percentages between June and July of 2024. Now, out of the top six Windows versions, we have an even playing field with three decreasing in market share and three increasing in market share. Now, Windows 8 here, right at the back, is one of those to have decreased from 0.36% to 0.24%. Windows XP, although it has decreased very slightly um, from 0.39% to 0.38%, uh, still keeps surprising us and still hasn't made its way out of the back door. So good old XP is still hanging on there in fifth place. Now, Windows 8.1 is one of those versions to have slightly increased from 0.4% to 0.42%. And Windows 7 has also increased from 2.95% to 3.04%. And those um, four versions we've just had a look at, obviously, um, just a quick recap if you're unaware, are all unsupported versions. The only two supported are Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, talking about Windows 11... Windows 11 has hit an all-time best and has moved up from 29.71% because last month when I posted it had almost reached 30% and has now finally gone over the 30% mark and is sitting on 30.82%. Now, although Windows 11 seems to be increasing now with every uh, stat counter survey video I do post, the, the opposite um, is happening for Windows 10. And Windows 10 has dropped just over a full percentage um, from June into July from 66.1% to 65%. So a very interesting, finally, Windows 10 seems to be dipping ever so slightly now from a month-to-month -month basis. And the reason for that, and I think the reason why Windows 11 now has reached an all-time best, is there are a couple of factors. First of all, um, Microsoft is making it very clear that next year, on the 14th of October, 2025 they will be ending official support uh, for windows 10 so i think a lot of windows 10 users who whose devices do meet their system requirements are now slowly starting to move over to windows 11 uh, because of that fact and i think another fact uh, is that um, copilot plus pcs are also now on the market so that's also pushing up i think um, the windows 11 market share so interesting uh, but although Windows 10 has decreased, very dominant still out in the front. Now, talking about that, if we head over to the uh, the chart data, yeah, we can see something interesting taking place. Um, yeah, in July of 2023, a year ago, we can see that's where Windows 10's market share was, 71.14%. So uh, that's dropped in a year from 71 to 66. So that's give or take. 5% in a year, it's dropped. And if we have a look at Windows 11, a year ago, Windows 11 was sitting on 23.66% and has now moved up to over 30%. So that's give or take a 6-7% increase in a year. So we can see that this little pale blue line here is indicating that I think in the next year or so, we're going to find Windows 11 reaching um, and meeting up with Windows 10 on this chart data. So I thought that was interesting that um, Windows 11 has gained more um, in its market share than Windows 10 has lost. So interesting stuff going on when it comes to the uh, desktop Windows version market share. And uh, that's for the comparison between June and July of this year, 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.